What's going on guys, Compound Serpent back again for another video here on the channel and today is the day, today is the day the unbeatable champion becomes unbeatable no more. But welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Sword and Shield. Last episode we made it our way up to Winden, uh, explored it for half the episode I will admit, and then the other half of the episode we battled Marnie in the semi-finals of the Champions Cup, waxed her ass, she gave us a little bit of trouble with her Grimm's... Grimm's... Grim's luck, something. Impidim's final evolution. Grim something. Uh, yeah, um, that gave us problems with Toxtricity at the end. But Toxtricity held on, came out on top. Uh, but speaking of our Pokemon, let's give you a quick team recap because we're about to fight Hop and then Leon shortly afterwards, I would imagine. So first of all, we've got Toxtricity level 54, holding the Amulet coin. Uh, with pluses his ability, Rock and Sludge Wave, Overdrive, Boom Boost, and Nuzzle, one of our hasty duo. Next up, we got Colossal holding level, f uh, no, holding the King's Rock level 54 with Flame Body, Rock and Rock Slide, Fire Punch, High Horsepower, and Tar Shot, a Fire Punch we did get last episode, uh, with Impish Nature. Next up, we got Corvin Knight level 54 holding the Sharp Beak, uh, Rock and Pressure's ability with Brave Wood, Steel Wing, U Turn, and Hone Claws with Modest Nature. Next up, we got Dreadnought level 54 rocking the leftovers with Strong Jaw, Rock and Waterfall, Rock Slide, Jaw Lock, and Smart Strike, and his Relaxed Nature. Next, we got the second of the duo of the Hasty Boys. We got Rillaboom, our starter level 54, holding the Miracle Seed <clears throat> with Overgrew as his Villy, with the moves Drum Beating, Knock Off with Hammer and Drain Punch. And as I said before, he is the second one of our Hasty Boys because he's Hasty Nature. And last but not least, we've got Dracloak level 55, our newest member of the squad, our Pseudo Legendary. Uh, level uh, evolves in five more levels, uh, holding the Eviolite to boost his defense and special defense. Hold, uh, with Infiltrator's ability, with his moves being Phantom Force, Breaking Swipe, Dragon Dance, U Turn, and he is Gentle Nature. Now, uh, we're about to battle Hop. We don't know who ha bought Hop battled, but apparently he won extremely quickly. But last time, I think we battled Hop. I think he um, led with his Dub Wool, which is the Wulu evolution. So we're going to lead with. Uh, Rillaboom, because we've got Drain Punch on him now, which we taught him in the last episode. I don't think I mentioned that in the team recap. So, we're going to jump straight into this. Battle our boy Hop. Win. And then battle Leon. Ooh. I hope I hope he Gigantamaxes Inteleon. And Gigantic. Oh, that'd be sick. That'd be sick. I just had this sort of flashback, you know, you know, I remember back when we were still in Postwick, when we got a Pokemon from Lee that day, I never dreamed that I'd end up standing here, well no, you, you did dream, you've been saying that you've been, you'll be here the entire game, facing you of all people, but it's time I finished what I started that day, uh, I beat you that day, got it, the one who will become champion is me, are you sure about that Hop, are you sure about that? This, oh, this theme! This theme! Come on, boy! Bring it on! Oh, I guess right. Dub wool. Rillaboom. Gigantamax ready. We battle back in the garden, but I'm really fired up for this match in this stadium. Drain punch! Good damage, good damage. I know you've been aiming for a super he super effective hit. Well, yeah. Body slam. I'll uh, I'll take that damage back. Thank you very much. Oh, you you even uh, you're even taking the precaution of healing up so I get more h HP back. Ah, you really are a sweetheart. Will they take me up to full? He does. We up to full. Are you gonna use another full restore? No, you're not. Let's save PP on Drain Punch and go for a knockoff. But you know, finishing the battle with uh, um, full health is not bad. Corviknight, right? Switch Pokemon, right out. 
Uh, steel, so rock isn't really going to be all that effective. Fire punch might be. So I don't want to just go into toxicity. Yeah, okay, this, uh, well, I feel like it'll be a little more difficult if we go for a Colossal. And considering we're at a higher level, I think uh, that's the best thing to do. So we're going to go into Colossal and Fire Punch it. And hopefully not take too much damage in return. I don't know, does he have 5 or 6? Um, fire Pokemon, okay. Fire Punch. Steel Wing. It's going to hurt. Oh, it doesn't hurt that much. Because we are in Bish Nature. Fire Punch is a decent amount of damage. I like that. I like that damage it does. Pretty good. Gonna go for the Steel Wing again. But we avoided it! How can you miss this giant lump of coal? Shameful, Hop. Shameful. Absolutely shameful. XP points. Oh, Colossal on this level. 55. Snorlax. Ooh, here we go. Here we go. Technically, Drain Punch. Might be a good move. Yeah, we'll go into Drank Loop uh, again and we'll make it uh, try and make it a little bit more difficult ourselves, but then make it easier because we're about to drag him then up. <laughs> so, <laughs> we'll send out Drank Loop. He's going to send out a Snorlax. Level 47. I mean, he's going back down the levels. I hope we're not massively over leveled for Lee. They told us to train after the 8th gym. It's not my fault I took their advice. Heavy slam. Oh, we're taking that. Taking it. We're Dragon Dance once more. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm only going to use Drag Look for this one Snorlax, but it's fine. Heavy slam. We should live. Uh, and we'll go for a Breaking Sweat, which will lower its attack. We might die. Next, but we'll lower his attack, so we might live with that attack lowering. We'll have to see. Oh, easily. Easily. So we can go for another breaking swipe and take out his Snorlax. Oh, I thought you were becoming champion, Hop. Huh? What's, what's going wrong? What's going wrong? Pinchering. Pinchering. Oh, is that Pukimuku? You know, the Pukimuku looking thing. What a weird team. Sorry, Hop, but your team is weird. Like, really weird. Okay. Why did I go up to this? For some reason, I thought I liked it. No. <laughs> Let's quickly swap into the more appropriate Pokemon. Two seconds. Hold on. Hold on a second. Because I, I was thinking of Puku Muku, I was thinking water type, but no. Pinterin's electric type, if I'm correct. If I think if I'm correct. Lowering its speed, but raising its attack. Defense. Okay, okay. I see. I see what you're doing. But are you still going to be able to live a high force? Yeah, probably. I'd say you're already pretty defensive. <laughs> you're cursing up again. This might get a little bit dangerous because this hack is now plus two. God damn it, hot. Why are you going to make this harder than it needs to be? Just, you know, get kicked to the face and deal with it. Thunderbolt! Yes, Hop, raise your attack and then do a special attack. You're smart, you're loyal. Let's go for Fire Punch, save the HP or uh, PP of High Horsepower. <sighs> Level 55 for Colossal. And last but not least, it's only fitting. You're sending out Inteleon. 
I'm sending out my boy. Rillaboom. This is Inteleon. Dynamax edition. I think you got me back to the corner. No way, I'll just make my... This will just make my victory even better. I, I hate to break it to you, but you ain't winning anything. Max Overgrowth! <laughs> Release all through the Wishing Stars. Time for a Dynamax! Obviously, yeah, Intellion. Intellion's still faster. Intellion must be a super, super duper quick boy. And here he is. Gigantamax. I feel like the starters should at least have like a Gigantamax form or a specific Gigantamax move as well. But no. Well, we give it to Charizard instead. He doesn't already have enough <laughs> shit as it is. But what am I going to do against Gigantamax? Charizard. I guess Gigantamax Colossal. It's going to be my play or, or Dreadnought. But... Yeah. I can make it rain and he'll make it fire. Max Darkness. Strange, okay. Special defense, Vel. But are you really gonna are you gonna live this and tell it? You might live it, because defense raises and stuff. Nope, never mind. One hit KO. Dead and gone. Dead and buried. Intellion fainted. And that is that. Half is defeated. Gorilla Boom Look, goes back down to normal size. And we have defeated Hop. <laughs> Urgh. Connor, thanks mate. I'm really glad that you were the one who, uh, you were the one here with me. I, I was better than you anyway, you knew this was gonna happen. As the victor of the semi-finals, the challenger has won their way through all the many hopeful trainers in the gym challenge is... Challenger Cutter! Woo! Ah, woo! Ah. You know, even when Sonya was saying that uh, me, uh, that you and me look like we could become heroes, I never really, I really never felt like, oh, don't say that. But you, mate, I think uh, maybe you really could do all sorts of great things. Good on you, Connor. All, and Rillaboom and all the rest of your team. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. <laughs> Boom. Hey, Lee. Connor! That was incredible. Brilliant. Honestly, there, was, uh, uh, there were even tears rolling down my face before I knew it. To think that one of you two, uh, the two of you set out together for the, in the same town, built up the greatest teams, and have arrived at this point to throw everything you had at one another, the burning desire to win, those moves filled with undefeatable passion, it was battling at its very purest in every possible way, even though there were some trainers who weren't sure whether you'd fit, uh, you were fit to be endorsed by the gym, uh, for the gym challenge at first, that was you Lee. <laughs> well then, all the more reason, my team members and I will give everything that we've got to defeat our challenger. And that and the challenger standing before us might as well end up being you, Connor. Might well end up being you, Connor. In fact, that's precisely what I'm hoping for. I won the semi-finals. I'm extremely exhausted. I just want to head back to the hotel and rest. Best to refill your energy source first. Why don't you come get dinner together? I wouldn't say no, but I wouldn't say no, but I never care for food uh, for uh, care at all what food tastes like. Lee. A night like this deserves more than rubbish takeaway, so at least pick something good. <laughs> okay, Jesus. Head on to the window when you are already. So wait. So we were the winner of the semi-finals, but that doesn't mean that we're 100% battling a league yet. Have we got to battle someone else? Who? Oh, we got an interview. Challenger Connor, Challenger Connor, got some time for some questions. First question, you and Challenger Hop were both endorsed by the champion, making the two of you rivals in a sense. Wouldn't you say? How does it feel to have defeated a rival? I'm glad I could beat him. Uh, it was just luck that I won. It doesn't quite feel real yet. 
Right, question number two. If you if you wanted to tell Challenger Hop something right now, what would it be? I thank him for a great night. I tell him how strong he was, that uh, that he was just a rival. I knew who he was. Haha, <laughs> he's running right next to me. Question three. Level with me, Kudo. Your honor sorts you. You think you can win the finals too? I absolutely do. All right, that's enough. Connor's already tired from battle. Uh, and you've been asking rather rude questions. We've uh, got ourselves to self plan with my brother, so sorry, but clear off already, would you? Uh, yes, I, uh, I understand. Looking forward to seeing the birth of a new star. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get out, get out of here. Hot, my body manager. I hope Lee gets here soon. I could re eat my own arm about now. <laughs> Several hours. Jesus Christ. This is absurd. Even Lee's never this late. Something's not right. He always does what he said he'll, he'll do. As a kid, he promised to me that he'd become champion one day, and he went and did just that. He ought to be able to, to keep his own uh, to his own dinner plans. It's weird. Kid's got a mouth on him, huh? If you were that noisy during battle, you'd unleash a whole new level of power, you know? I'll pack it in, Piers. Uh, I'm seriously worried here. So I don't need your smug mug, look, smug mug looking like you're having a go at me, even though you act like you're giving me good advice. Judging by appearances, no wonder you lost to your mate. If you're looking for the champion, I saw him head into Rose Tower. Why would he go there? Uh, don't know what he's up to, but I ran him to him at the mo monorail platform. He said to tell you that he had something to do at Rose Tower, so he'd be late for your dinner. But why Rose Tower? What could he have to do there at this hour? Pierce, do me, uh, Pierce, do me a favor. Take us to Rose Tower, would you? Neither Connor nor I know the way. Sheesh, what rude siblings. Always so demanding of others. Though, I suppose, it's a real problem for me too, if the finals are held up for any reason. Uh, and I really don't uh, hate the two of you little runts. You were good enough to beat me after all. So, I think I'll invite Tio Miao Leong, and we'll all have ourselves a bit of fun, shall we? Brilliant, you're the best, Piers. Let's go make a ruckus. <laughs> Alright, let's go. I'm assuming uh, I say he wants it to be over so he, that he, so he can retire and give the mental to Mani, uh, is what I'm assuming. I wish I'd done Hot Final Mark now. Oh. Man, why am I here for this? I'm totally exhausted from the battle with you, Connor. Ha 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 ha, where I won, you mean. We decided that Team Yell will show you on, Connor. Let's help out together. Yay! <laughs> Are my prediction's about to come true. What a beautiful display of sibling love. However, it's entirely unnecessary. Miss Alina? Chairman Rose is with the champion in a very, very important meeting. There is no way I will let anyone interfere. After all, only authorized personnel with the proper key can ride the monorail at the Rose Tower. And that means the Chairman Rose is in the tower. No one can disturb him. Oh, I have hand selected a member of the league staff and given them a key. Chairman Rose does enjoy these kind of mini, mini, uh, maniacal games after all. Do you think you can tell the difference between the normal league staff and the one I chose? Do do you think you can find me, eh? Do you, champ? What should we do? Tch, this isn't good, but I got this one. Connor, team yells will uh yelling uh, will handle this. No, this is brilliant. I'll search around the front of the stadium. For now, we should try and head to the plaza. Uh, we should try and head to the plaza together, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's work together and head towards Rose Tower. Rose Tower, that's what. Find Alina's league staff member. That bad. Uh, that bad one was wearing loose lame shades, right? Loose lame shades. He's got yellow on. Yellow. I was gonna say I didn't know. If, I, just, I didn't know if someone might have been on the way down there. Yeah, I think he was wearing black glasses, not the yellow ones like them. So we'll see. I don't know. Yeah, Ops Battle would have been all right for an, uh, the episode last time. I think. That's kind of annoying. 
Oh well, but I don't know this stuff, do I? I haven't played it yet, so... Yellow glasses... Show me your glasses. Hey Connor, this bloke's awfully shifty, but I can't get him to turn around. Uh, say something surprising so that you'll have no choice but to look this way. Aha! What? Blast! I turned around. And I can't escape. In that case, it's time for a Pokemon battle. Well, that was easier than I thought it would be. <laughs> Mark Macrocosmos Eric. Macrocosmos? What? What is this madness? Well, you you've sent out a Steel type, my friend, and as just so happens, I have a Finding type move. Boom. <laughs> I put the boom in Rilla Boom. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know when I said that this today's the day that. Uh, you know, I said today's the day that we the unbelievable unbeatable champion doesn't isn't unbeatable anymore. I might have been wrong. <laughs> might have been a little bit wrong. Connor sent out Dit. No, Connor didn't send out Durant. He sent out Durant. Colossal. My cheers will really get my cheers will really get you going. Thanks for the help. My speed rose. Okay. Thanks. I still would have killed it, but now I just took that. I just didn't take any damage. I'm getting all confused. There's so many characters at the moment. I'm getting confused with voices. Nah. Don't suddenly talk to me like that. I accidentally turned around. Yeah, whatever. All I need to do is hide, and I won't have to give you the key. If it's a wonder how fast that guy can go, then it's no idea where he went, Gov. Eh. No, yellow glasses. He's right there. How did you find me? Or did you just talk to everyone you met? Bah, whatever. I'll defeat you this time. Dude. Oh, you've got different Pokemon. How did you so quickly... How did you somehow swap Pokemon real quick? Uh, well, Drain Punch still might do a decent amount, even though you're very... Yeah, that's good enough. And um, whatever you're going to do, uh, I'm pretty sure I'll get the health back from uh, this next Drain Punch. So I felt, I feel that flow. Yeah! Yeah, you're feeling it, Connor! Let's go! <laughs> I can't remember Marnie's voice now, because I'm getting confused between her voice and Alina's. I think Marnie's is like this. Maybe, I don't know, like Morty. Morty and Marnie! I don't know. Yeah, uh, no, not quite all, but most. Goodbye, more while. Who's up next? Excadrill. Ooh, interesting. Uh, let's go to Dreadnought. I could stay in with Rillaboom. I should have stayed in with Rillaboom. But, you know, we're trying to be diverse up in this. Trying to maneuver. Waterfall. Boof. Is it enough to take out? It is. We are eight levels above it. I apologize that we're so high leveled. <laughs> I didn't want it to be like this. But they told me they told me to grind after Don't tell me to like, oh yeah, you should level up a bit if <laughs> They say hide in a, a tree in a forest, so I thought I could hide myself in the crowd. I swear, if I have to battle you again, you're way too observant, but I'll win this time. <laughs> Listen, Game Freak, you got everything okay about the story so far, but this... This is stupid. <laughs> and you just keep leading with Steel types, so I'm just gonna keep drain punching you. <laughs> like, get a better strategy! Cosmos Mark or whatever your name is. God damn it. <laughs> what are you sending out this time?
A Steelix. Uh, well, we'll stay out. We'll stay out this time. Here, have some of my support. I know you can keep the beat, uh, the beat going. You're the best, Marnie. Yeah. Attack and special attack rules. Ah, oh, you ain't living. And for overkill, let's go for a wood hammer. Wabush. Steelix got rocked. Eh, recall the recall. Worth it to beat this guy, this beat this nerd up. Uh, hiding didn't uh, hiding didn't work and battles didn't work. Only thing I can do now is run. I I'm Shirley and I'm a smoker. <laughs> well, that might be a this place. I know. Seems like you've got me cornered, but I'm not going to give up. I, uh, an earphone from Miss Al Al Alino is way worse than anything that you can do. Good luck catching up to catching me on the monorail. Is that a challenge? Team yell. Uh, team yell. Ah uh, no. Uh, uh, Team Yell, we'll uh, corner that League staff member at the station together. <coughs> I am Shirley and I'm a smoke. No. <laughs> I wanted to heal. I wanted to heal. Oh no. They all look the same. Oh no. He's the one on the end. He's the one on the end. You did a cracker job of cornering that League Staff member, Connor. Let me sing. Uh, let me sing you a song fitting of your rocking deeds. The only thing a humble singer can do is sing a humble song. Maybe I can't cheer someone on with just the tunes I play. Maybe my songs don't make anyone happy. Maybe I can't help. <coughs> <coughs> but I still, only thing I can do is sing, sing my humble song. Piers, yeah, go Piers. Hey, isn't that Piers? What is he doing a street performance? I think uh, you mean station performance. Come on, let's go see if we can get closer. Oh God. Oh yeah, first people on their people on their phone straight away. <coughs> Go on, Zigzagoon. Fair enough. We got the key, Piers. We can take the monorail to Rotnero's Tower now. Piers just gonna keep singing because he's loving life. Connor, hop! Now's your chance! Go! Get out of here! Do I have to ask me twice? Or do I have to tell me twice? Hello, Rose Tower. I suppose it does kind of look like a rose. So, is the baddie actually Rose, or is it just Alina, like, coercing Rose into this problem? So, this is Rose Tower! Just uh, how tall do you think it is? I can't even see the top! And uh, what's up? And they're in the crowds. Uh, so what do we sh what should we do? Team Yell is going to have their hands full holding up the, le the bad le st league staff members. Uh, they won't be catching up anytime soon. Yeah, Connor, what should we do? Let's go ahead and wait for the others to catch up. Let's go ahead. Good thinking. Let's go collect Lee and get out of here. Without them, there's no champion for you to challenge in Champions Cup. Of course. Oh, yeah, that's the problem. Uh, Connor, you cleared the uh, you clear you cleared the way to Rose Tower. Now all you got to do is charge on ahead. If you say so. An employee, an employee is an employee, I guess. It seems like that exec lady hid the monorail key to try and impress the chairman. Cha the chairman Rose has been keeping the champion hold up inside. Wonder what he's plotting. Here he is. Times like this, when tension and passion run high, uh, remind me of Spike Moth in the old days. Some are right wild concerts we had back then, uh, but no one calls. Wait, you're still here? You better get going, I'll send some support uh, uh, your way with you. Gotta stick around, uh, gotta stick around with, uh, make sure my bro doesn't do anything cra too crazy, right? Come back if you need anything. Can I hear, can, can you hear me again? Let's go, Connor! Don't make me actually walk in. Can you heal me? I came back. Can you can you heal me? Am I already healed? I'm not. 
Yeah, fine. Uh, Blurry Darklands Hotel. Uh, let's go to Winden Stadium. Because I need to heal. But that's also where I'm going to end today's episode. So tomorrow, uh, tomorrow's episode, or whatever the next episode is, we will storm the, uh, we'll, or we'll do the assault on the tower of Rose Tower. See what Rose is up to, see what Aluna is up to, and see if uh, Sarp's brother Lee and the champion is okay, so I have someone I can face. But uh, question of the day, where do you think the story is going, and are you looking forward to the next part? It's nice to actually get a decent amount of story so far, because this is the most that we've had. <laughs> But uh, either way, guys, answer that down below, uh, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for another episode. But until then, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!